We know what we need to do in order to improve student and adult learning. The question is, will we give a higher priority to creating those conditions, or will we assign a higher priority to preserving our traditional structure and culture? Will we roll up our sleeves and become better at the PLC process by doing what PLCs do, or will we seek to avoid doing the work, looking for shortcuts, and settling for being a pseudo-PLC? We call ourselves a PLC, but we actually avoid doing what PLCs do. Now, what is it that PLCs do? If we implemented what we know to be best practice, we would make sure that educators were organized into collaborative teams in which members work together interdependently to achieve common SMART goals for which members are mutually accountable. Now, you've got on pages 152 and 153 research that supports the idea that organizations are more effective when people work collaboratively rather than in isolation. If we were to say, we're going to reconvene in a month, and this half of the room, I want you to find all the research you can in, from both education and organizational theorists that say organizations and schools work better when people work collaboratively. I want you to find all the professional organizations who have endorsed the idea that we should be working together collaboratively. Bring that research in here next month. You would be able to provide me with hundreds of research studies in over 40 different professional organizations in the United States alone that say this is what we should be doing. If I were to say to you on this side of the room, find all the research you can inside and outside of education that says organizations are more effective, kids learn at higher levels when teachers work in isolation, and tell me all the organizations that have endorsed teachers working in isolation, you would be hard-pressed to come back in a month with anything. So the weight of the evidence here isn't even close. We know that all the evidence, all the research, all of our professional organizations, and common sense tells us it's better to work together collaboratively rather than in isolation. And so if we acted on what we know, every educator in North America would be assigned to a meaningful team, would be would, provided with time to collaborate on a regular basis, would be crystal clear on the work they need to do, and would receive the resources and support they need in order to promote their success.